Hey my friends, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I will show you how to install the NumPy library in Python on Mac. We are going to first create a Python project folder within which we are going to create a virtual environment in which we will install the NumPy library. Why we do that? Because installing Python modules in a virtual environment keeps your project dependencies isolated so they don't mess with other projects or system packages. So let's begin the installation. Before we take our first step in installing NumPy, let's check the Python version installed on my Mac. To do that, I am going to write the command python3 hyphen hyphen version. After hitting enter, it's going to show me the version of Python installed on my Mac, which is python3.13.5. I just wanted to show you in which version of Python we are installing the NumPy library. This also happens to be one of the latest versions of Python available at the time of recording this video. If you want to install it, then you can watch the video in the i button. So the first step in installing NumPy is that we are going to create a Python project folder. I am going to create that folder on my desktop and you can choose to create it wherever you want. So let me go to my desktop using the command cd desktop t capital. I hit enter and I am inside my desktop. Over here using the mkdir command, I am going to create a Python project folder. Let me call it numpy underscore install. And there you go. You can see numpy underscore install folder has been created when I ran this command. Now I am going to get inside this folder. So again, I am going to type cd numpy underscore install that will take me inside this folder over here we are going to create a python virtual environment the command to create a python virtual environment is very simple it is python3 hyphen m v and v and uh, lastly we are going to give the name of the virtual environment so i am going to name it as numpy underscore v and v you can name it whatever you want after hitting enter, if this command doesn't throw any error, it means that the virtual environment has been successfully created. There you go, no error. So I assume that the virtual environment is successfully created, but we are going to test it by typing the command ls hyphen l. And there you go. Here we have our virtual environment folder. Now we are going to activate this virtual environment. To do that, we are going to type the command source, the name of the virtual environment. That means the virtual environment folder. That means the virtual environment folder forward slash pin forward slash activate. We hit enter and you can see that this virtual environment numpy underscore vnv has become active. Now the time has come to install the numpy library and we are going to install it using pip. The command is very simple. It is pip install numpy. We hit enter. And you see the installation has begun. And there you go. It says successfully installed NumPy 2.3.1. All right, let's test it out. So we are going to enter into the Python prompt by typing Python 3. And over here, we are going to import NumPy. So we'll write import NumPy. And since we have been able to successfully import NumPy, hence we can say that we have successfully installed a NumPy in this virtual environment, NumPy underscore VNV on Mac. Let's do one more test. Let's print the version of the NumPy library installed. And it should match with the version appearing over here, which is 2.3.1. So we'll write print NumPy dot double underscore version double underscore and this should give the version of the numpy library installed let's hit enter and there you go 2.3.1 is the version of the numpy library installed in this virtual environment on my mac and it matches the version appearing over here let's come out of the python prompt now and now the standard practice is to deactivate the virtual environment to do that i'm going to write deactivate and there you go and with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning how to install the numpy library in python on mac from this video of choice tech i'll see you in the next video till then goodbye and take very good care of yourself